Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of our UX TV and today we will talk about Fitt's law. Paul Fitz developed a law that basically says the bigger an element is and the closer it is to the cursor on a desktop computer, the easier it is for the users to hit it. This law basically shows that the interaction time is smaller the closer an element is located to the current position of the cursor and the bigger the element that the user tries to hit is. We as UI and UX designers can use that law to our advantage of course. Because if we have actions that follow each other most of the time, we can simply place these interactive elements close to each other because that automatically reduces the distance for the cursor. So the interaction or the movement that the users have to make is smaller automatically only by putting the elements very close to each other. A good sample for that is the amount selection if you want to add something to the basket and the add to basket button. If you place those directly next to each other, the distance is really small and therefore the interaction time gets decreased. And the second advantage that we as UI and UX designers can take from that law is that we have to make important elements as big as somehow possible. If we are working on an online shop for example, the add to basket button is a very important button for example and therefore we should make it as big as somehow possible. And by applying these two principles, placing items that are related to each other close to each other and making important elements very big, we can automatically increase the usability and user experience of the solution that we are creating. There is a formula for this law, but in my opinion, this law is not about the formula in detail. You only have to know the main principles that the size of the button, the bigger it is, the easier it is to hit and that it is about the distance from the current position of the cursor to the item that the users want to hit. And you should keep that distance as small as somehow possible. And if you increase the size and you decrease the distance, then the formula will also show you that it is easier and faster to hit that specific interaction element. This law basically is for desktop devices, but you should also, even if you don't have a cursor, apply that law to touch devices also. You don't have the cursor as I've already said, but you have your finger on mobile devices for example and that finger also has a distance to the interaction elements and elements at the top of the screen on a smartphone for example are not that easily accessible with the thumb but elements at the bottom are very easily accessible. And that's it already again for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn the notifications bell on and also hit the like button and we will see each other again very soon. Also, make sure that you check out our UX wiki where you can find additional information on Fitz Law and other topics related to UX design. Thank you.